hey, hey, it's November 6, 2020. We're going to be doing the card of the day, the focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours because tomorrow I'm going to be doing in-person sessions and I'm booked solid, so I might not be able to do the card of the day, but that's okay. We're going to see what pops up today. And this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice. Hopefully led by your intuition because your intuition is your motherfucking superpower. Everyone's born intuitive. Not everyone listens to their intuition. I mean, have you seen the state of the motherfucking world? Yes, I cuss a lot. Oh, well. Anyway, uh, we're going to be doing the focus of intention today. And this is going to be coming from the Sacred Symbols Oracle deck by my boo, Marcella Crow. This is her deck. And we're going to see what spirit got to say today. Whippa! Courage. Look at that shit. Courage, courage, courage. I love this card because especially in this climate, especially with the energy that's being emitted worldwide, not just in the United States of America. I am coming to you guys from New York City. So I understand that I have several international clients. But again, the climate of the world is very chaotic and we're becoming more afraid of what's going What if? What if? What if? What if? The woulda, the shoulda, the coulda. What if? What if? Like we're so worried. We're so strapped in that anxiety and chaos and desperation and fear that we're losing ourselves in this process and not realizing that we have to have courage and courage is an act of fierce primal love and what do i tell you guys love yourself make sure that you are the motherfucking priority in your world no matter what you come First, you cannot help anybody else if you're on empty, if you ran out of gas, if you're tired of being sick and tired. You can't do shit until you love yourself. And courage is an act of your own fierce primal love. Back to the basic motherfucking instinct. Self-preservation, self-survival. It starts with you. So let's see what the sim, what the card says today. And that's exactly what I just started channeling the minute that I picked up that card. It says, courage, you're being invited to summon your courage and take the next right action. Drawing this card can be nudging you to let go of any fears. Confirmation. Can't look at this shit. Like, I can't make it up. It says right there. Fears. Confirmation. Uh, they're just showing off today. Um, let go of any fears that you're having and boldly move ahead. Basically, Feel the fear and do it anyway. Feel the resistance. Do it anyway. Go through it because fear is just an illusion. It's false evidence appearing real. It's not even an emotion. It paralyzes you from your truth. Everything you desire is on the other side of that fear anyway. This is your moment to seize the day, live your dreams, and step forward with confidence. You can meditate on the symbol and mantra whenever you need a boost of encouragement. The symbol is the lightning. The lightning bolt is a symbol of courage and inspired by a fictional cartoon character and real life character in my life. She said this card is dedicated to one of her first loves, Dennis, a.k.a. Shazam, a boy who was never afraid to try something new, a forever inspiration on this wild journey of life, rest in power. So she actually made this symbol for somebody she had a relationship with that was courage. Now, if you guys follow me on my Instagram at Readings by Vida, you guys know that I'm born on the day of Chango. And the day of Chango and the day of St. Barbara, I'm actually born on December 4th. To the point that my grandmother made sure that my mother has my middle name as Barbara. So yes, I even have St. Barbara tattooed on my, uh, on my leg as an honor and as a memorial for the saints that are with me as well as Chango. And Chango is an Odisha in the African diaspora of several different belief systems. And Chango symbol is the lightning bolt. So again, I find this fitting. I find this amazing. Remember to believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it anyway. Fear is just a small conditioned part of you stuck in a lie wanting to protect you. Fear is not in the present moment. Fear is what was or what will be. So have courage no matter what's happening in your life. Believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. I need you to love yourself. I need you to have faith in yourself. And then everything else will follow. You attract that through the vibrations that you emit into the universe. Thank you for fucking with me. Thank you for following me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you for sharing this message with somebody else. Um, any content that I share... It is trademark, copyright, and registered with the United States government under the Almighty Pineapple LLC. If you'd like to share my information, great. If you try to duplicate it and not let me know, not so great because you'll be subject to legal persecution as guided by my legal team. With that being said, thank you again for your support. 
And if you'd like to work with me, please follow your intuition working with any spiritual advisor. Even if that means you do not work with me, your intuition will guide you to who, what, when, where, and how to work with those spiritual advisor practitioners. I love y'all and I'll talk to y'all later.